Alright guys, we're out here on the courageous. Get ready to drop in. So we'll see you guys under the water. Before we dive, let's see the Air Force drop of JDAM. The Air Force sunk the Courageous on April 28th of 2022 using a Joint Direct Attack Munition, also known as a JDAM. It broke the ship in two pieces, broke it right in half, and it sits in 130 feet of water where the front half is kind of just, I don't know, twisted and turned, facing the opposite direction of the stern of the ship. So we're going to dive on it today. We're going to show you guys where we're at. I'm going to give you guys the grid coordinates. You guys are going to see some of the pretty awesome fish that call this home. I'm still learning my fish species, so you guys don't mind. Leave a comment below with a timestamp and the fish that you see. And uh, we can all kind of learn together. But I'm telling you, on this boat, I saw quite a few snapper, lionfish, triggerfish, a few gag groupers, and then a whole bunch of hardtails. If you guys notice anything else in the video, like I said, leave a comment down below and let me know. For you lionfish hunters, here's one of many lionfish that we saw down here. So the Emerald Coast Open is going on right now. Now's the time to come check these guys out and take them home. Just waiting for you. And then there's these guys, the good old triggerfish. They're getting ready to come back in season on March 1st. So now's your chance to come get these guys. I always have luck with a little bit of cut bonita on a uh, dropper rig. That seems to be the way I get them on the reefs over here in Navarre. All right, right here I'm at about 107 feet. I still have about 30 more feet to go before I'm at the bottom. This is midship where the JDAM hit. As you can see, the bow is facing the opposite direction as the stern. Still kind of connected in the middle, but that JDAM definitely put in work on this guy. If I was slow pitch jigging on this wreck, I would probably go with 140 gram, all the way up to probably a 200 gram jig, and just kind of work the whole area. There are a lot of areas where you get snagged, but that's just kind of the nature of the beast. But there's a lot of good places for fish to hide around here. And a good presentation of a nice fluttering slow pitch. I'm definitely going to guarantee you a good hookup. The Courageous was built in 1956 in Sweden and sailed under the Norwegian flag. She was later seized by US authority because she was involved in the smuggling trade and then she was acquired by the United States Air Force and used in the demonstration that you saw at the beginning of the video. So this wreck is a little over a year, well, not even a year old yet. You guys can see all the life that's already on it. We also dove on the Manta this trip. The card at the top of the screen would take you to that video. It's pretty cool seeing a side-by-side -side comparison of the two ships, one that's been under the ocean for a month and one that's been under for a year. It's cool to see just how fast life will take over on these artificial reefs. This trigger fish was pretty cool. I tried to chase him, but he ended up going down this pipe. And then when I put my light down there, you could see he really went down far. And then there's this little guy. This would be the guy that I would end up catching, 100% guaranteed. Anybody that's been out fishing with me know that there's a whole lot of truth to that. I'm diving with Shark Quest Dive Charters out of Gulf Breeze. They're a pretty awesome dive shop. If you guys are ever in the area, make sure you guys go check them out. They own their own boat. Eric, he's the captain, prior Navy, so he definitely has a lot of experience on the ocean. And he knows where all the good wrecks are, where all the good coordinates are. So he's going to put you on some places where a lot of the other charters won't. So definitely give them a shout and look them up. Go see them. Go say hi. Check out the shop. And of course, it's not a good diving video unless you got a good selfie in there. 
Anyways, thanks for watching. I'm going up. All right, we're back. That was uh, a pretty epic, awesome dive. I don't know if you guys noticed all the stinking fish that were on that boat. Don't forget, down in the description, I will leave you the coordinates to where that boat's at. You can either go dive it or you can go fish it, and I guarantee you, you're not going to be disappointed. Don't forget, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.